WWE Royal Rumble 2018 Results, What Fans Are Marking Out For After Epic PPV The 2018 Royal Rumble was a show full of ups and downs, but more importantly, it was a show that encouraged excitement from a WWE fan base desperately in need of it as it embarked on the road to WrestleMania 34. From unpredictable returns to shocking debuts, inspiring showdowns and the tease of a much-anticipated championship clash, the first pay-per-view extravaganza of 2018 gave fans plenty to mark out over. Delve deeper into the show's most memorable mark-out moments with this recap of Sunday's historic potentially game-changing broadcast and relive what made the 2018 Royal Rumble the buzzworthy extravaganza, it was. The moment dream became reality and Shinsuke Nakamura eliminated Roman Reigns to win the 2018 Royal Rumble, fans clamoured for the opportunity to see the artist challenge WWE Champion Edge Styles at WrestleMania. Then the charismatic Japanese star announced he would do just that, and the giddiness of wrestling fans across the globe could hardly be contained. Last competing against each other at Wrestle Kingdom 10 in January 2016, they delivered one of the best matches of that year. When they both wound up on the SmackDown Live roster a year later, Fans longed for the opportunity to see the internationally recognized stars mix it up on the grandest stage in professional wrestling. His victory made that possible, and it was not lost on the audience, who should relish the chance to witness two of the best wrestlers of this generation square off under the WWE umbrella, something that would not have seemed possible as recently as five years ago. The debut of Rowdy Ronda Rousey There is no bigger news story coming out of Sunday's show than WWE's signing of Ronda Rousey to a full-time contract, as first reported by Ramona Shelburne of ESPN, H slash T Timothy Forventy. One of the most influential mixed martial artists in UFC history. Rousey is a legitimate mainstream media icon whose mere presence in WWE triggers interest in the company that otherwise may not have existed. While many expected she would make an appearance in Sunday's Women's Royal Rumble match, she waited until afterward to interrupt Asuka's celebrations and greet Stephanie McMahon at ringside before making her intentions to appear at WrestleMania 34 in some shape or form. Rousey's arrival sparked a ton of social media activity and had WWE's name, and the Royal Rumble event, in the headlines across mainstream news. It is hard to ignore the significance of her WWE debut Sunday and the coverage it will warrant the promotion. Asuka's historic victory The inaugural Women's Royal Rumble headline Sunday's pay-per-view extravaganza, and, as predicted, Asuka continued her two-plus-year undefeated streak by eliminating Nikki Bella to win the first match of its kind. The Empress of Tomorrow has been the definition of unstoppable force in WWE, defeating every superstar in her path while simultaneously creating an aura for herself you can match. She was expected to win Sunday's match because that's what she does, wins. Despite odds that were not at all in her favor once the Bella Twins began double-teaming her, Asuka capitalized on Nikki's screediness and delivered a kick to the shin that sent her off the ring apron and to the arena floor. 
there are some who are not at all happy with what they perceive to be Ronda Rousey stealing Asuka's thunder at the close of the show, but the Empress of Tomorrow will have plenty of spotlight in which to bask over the coming months. Rey Mysterio returns The biggest surprise return of the Men's Royal Rumble belonged to Rey Mysterio. In 2014, the former world champion entered the bout at No. 30 and was greeted by a chorus of boos. Why? Because he had become cliché and staled, an all-time great whose adulation from the fans had been replaced by lethargy and a desire to see new underdog Daniel Bryan thrive. What could have been a dubious last major appearance for the future Hall of Famer was erased Sunday night by Mysterio's return to the match he won way back in 2006. This time, fans erupted for the Lucador, cheering him on as he blasted Roman Reigns with a 619 and outmaneuvered several other modern-day superstars. Mysterio turned in a valiant effort, surviving until late. Finn Balor was the man who tossed him to the arena floor, ending his night on a sour note. Still, despite the disappointment from fans and Mysterio himself that he didn't win the Rumble, his return, performance and the annual boat and reception made for one of the brightest spots of the show.